What's up guys, it's Brad from Light Architect. Today I'm excited to announce a new add-on that we have released on Blender Market. This is the Blender Market page for the add-on. It's called Texture Stamps and it's a image decal add-on that you can use to overlay various alpha textures on top of your 3D models, your 3D environments, or simply just add some texture detail or grunge to your live action shots. In the creation of this add-on and texture pack, we have collaborated with the talented Carlos Barreto, who's done all the scripting and user interface for this add-on and collaboration with us, so we're really happy to announce it. It is a fairly simple add-on, nothing too sophisticated. Essentially what it does is it allows you to select from a variety of textures and grunge materials, and then you select the object that you want to add the alpha texture decal to, and then when you add the decal to the object, it will automatically add a shrink wrap modifier to the alpha texture plane, and then wrap it around your desired object in order to add more non-destructive detail to your scene. And I'll go through an example of it here in a bit but this is just the Blender Market page for it. As you can see our photo here, this is a live action shot that we've added some texture stamps to on our riverbed here, utilizing some textures from the add-on. And you can see here some example photos here of the textures by themselves. One of the reasons we created this add-on is so you could have easy access to textures like this in order to add a little bit of detail to your scene. So in particular, I do a lot of live action set extensions and matte paintings. So if I simply have a basic reconstruction of the environment of a live action shot, I can use these texture stamps and just kind of overlay them on the geometry and then, you know, render them out without the geometry enabled and add a little bit of an extra touch to the live action shot. So this is the add-on. You can see we have a variety of texture stamps here. We have some, you know, concrete grunge, some rust, some wood decals, a variety of graffiti decals, some moss and nature decals, some glass shattered, uh, a variety of different symbols. We have like a biohazard simple high voltage some concrete cracks some splattering paint some puddles and then a variety of different grungy street signs as well and of course we'll be adding more kits to the add-on as well as free updates in the future when you purchase the full bundle uh, well, I hope you enjoy this add-on I'll go ahead and show you guys how it works here in blender and I'll make some future videos on this as well going through some of these specifics but just to get you started in case you're interested this is the add-on here in the right uh, once you install it you'll get this panel here called texture stamps and go ahead and open it and as you can see here, you can select the genre of texture plane asset that you want to choose from. So we have scorch marks, wood damage, graffiti, concrete grunge, nature, broken glass, all of these different genres. And then within the genres, we have a variety of different texture planes to choose from. Probably my favorite kit is the concrete grunge dirt maps. So you can see we have a variety of different concrete grunge and rust to choose from. And most of these are alpha planes from real textures. However, some of them are generated. So the level of resolution varies from asset to asset. Another good one is nature. So we have like these moss decals. Um, so lots of different assets to choose from. We have some puddles, which is quite interesting. Add a little bit of specularity to your environment. But um, how you use this asset, let's say we want to use these scorch marks and we want to add a scorch mark to this default cube here. We'll go ahead and select the default cube. And I'll actually, I'm gonna go ahead and switch this render engine to Eevee, just so we can see everything in real time. As I mentioned, we'll select the object we want to add the decal to, then you'll select the decal you want to add, and then we can click on Add Decal, and it will come into your scene. And as you can see here, you can place it on, you know, wherever you want to place it on your plane here. Now this add-on doesn't offer perfect results as soon as you add the decal to your scene. It requires a little bit of tweaking. So as you can see here, the shrink wrap modifier is kind of well, it's creating this weird effect at the edge of our cube. So to resolve that, we can just scale down our scorch mark and now we have this nice texture overlaid on top of our original material that was on the cube. So say for example, we had a procedural concrete material instead of the white standard material for the cube. This scorch mark could add a nice level of detail. Now, depending on how your scene is set up, you may need to adjust the offset of your decal. So the shrink wrap modifier is going to try to get your texture as close to this material as possible. However, you might need to adjust the offset. So as you can see here on the bottom panel, we can add more or less offset. So what that's going to do, if I increase this number, for example, make it 0.1, you can see I can add more offset, which will bring it further away from our cube, or we can give it less offset as well. And it's changing the offset value based on this custom offset input. So if we want to be more precise, we can make it 0.01 and then 
give it less offset here. And the goal of this is so you can get your texture stamp as close to the uh, objects you want to add it to as possible. So add one more offset and now this is stamped on top of our cube here. So now we've added this scorch mark to our cube here. As you can see here, we have this texture space cube around our texture and that's to enable you to find and place the texture a little bit more easily. But if you wanna turn that off, you can go ahead and deselect the texture space checkbox. Or if you've already added the texture to your scene, you just wanna select the texture space edit checkbox here and uh, it will take away that cube for you. So we found that adding that texture space box around your texture stamp allows you to place the asset a little bit more easily. So let's add a few more different textures to this cube to show you what we have here. I'll select maybe from the concrete grunge dirt maps here and maybe we'll use maybe this rust texture. So we'll add this maybe to the top here. So go ahead and add this decal to the scene and it's going to shrink wrap it around our cube, which is quite nice. And then I'll just scale it down and now we have another texture stamp added to our cube here. And we can again update the decal without the texture space option once we've placed it and uh, just allows you to wrap it around that hard surface. So this is the general concept here. Another cool thing to add would be maybe these cracks. So we can select from some of these crack alpha texture planes. So maybe this one right here and I'll add this one to this side of the cube like so and I'll scale it down a bit and update the decal, turn off texture space edit. And now as you can see here, we've added a nice cracks texture to our cube. And another thing I'm also doing in this particular video is I've enabled texture for the uh, color option. So you might not see the textures in your viewport mode without changing it to this. So for example, you might be looking at something like this but uh, I recommend you switch it to texture so you can actually see when you're placing the assets a bit better. But um, if we switch this to cycles, we're going to get a much nicer result for our textures as well because the normal maps that we have generated for our textures here are just going to be lit a bit more realistically. So cycles is generally the preferred way to go. However, EV will also work as well for the textures in this asset pack. So this is the general concept behind the add-on. You can just use these textures to add a little bit of non-destructive detail to the 3D objects or the 3D environment of your scene. Uh, I'll show a few more examples in this video. I'll go ahead and delete our default cube here along with the textures that we've added to it. And what I have here in this hidden layer is a helicopter model by the talented uh, Chris Kuhn, who's, uh, I believe he stopped making 3D models, but um, I'm still using these uh, awesome assets he's created for us. So this one's by Kuhn Industries, so shout out to him. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of non-destructive texture detail to it. Go to rendered view really quick. So here we are in EV mode here. And as you can see here, the texture for this helicopter is not bad. However, it could use a little bit of added grunge to these elements here. So I'm going to try to use some of our decals in this kit in order to grunge up this side of the helicopter. So one thing we might do in this specific example is maybe add a little bit of grunge coming from this vent here. So I'm gonna go to our concrete grunge dirt map here, and then I'm going to select this uh, kind of uh, leaky grunge map and then I'm going to select this part of the helicopter. So right here. And now what we're going to do is we'll just add the decal to this part of the helicopter. Now, as you can see, our decal is quite a bit bigger than our helicopter, but that's no problem. We'll just scale it down until it's the right size, like so. We'll place it where we want it. It also needs to be rotated around, so I'll rotate it around on the Y-axis 180 degrees. And I also need to pull it back a little bit. You can see the origin point needs to be a little bit outside here, like so. And maybe scale it up a little bit more. And now we'll update the decal and turn off the texture space edit mode. And now we've added a little bit of extra grunge to our helicopter. So this is pretty cool. What else could we add? Well, we could add maybe some rust to the back part of the helicopter, or perhaps we could even add with our decal signs here, we could add like some warning symbols. Maybe this warning symbol could be interesting. So go ahead and add this, scale it down a bit. Maybe put this by the vent like this, scale it down a bit. Just place it right here and then update the decal itself. 
And now we've added a warning decal to this part of the helicopter, which is quite interesting. And uh, yeah, essentially we could just repeat this process as much as we like in order to grunge up this side of the helicopter. So I'll go ahead and do that and then show you the final result at the end of this video. Now, you can probably tell that in this add-on, we're using a simple shrink wrap modifier. This is not anything new inside of Blender. However, we're just trying to streamline the process for you guys. The shrink wrap modifier is not always perfect when you're wrapping it around objects. Sometimes you get artifacts, so it does take a bit of experimentation. And if you want to turn off that shrink wrap modifier, you just go to the modify properties tab here and you can turn it off and you can kind of see what's happening a bit easier. So this add-on is not without imperfections. What we're trying to do is simply provide you with a lot of different textures to detail your assets with and um, streamline the process of wrapping it. So we hope you guys enjoy it. I will be making some more videos with it. And of course, if you don't want to buy the add-on, you can apply very similar concepts in your own texturing process by simply using your own shrink wrap modifier and your own alpha textures. However, we thought it was a nice idea to just pack a bunch of different grunge and detailing alpha textures into one place in order for you to always have these kind of assets available. But anyways, guys, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. Leave a comment in the comment section below if you have any ideas on how we can improve this add-on or what kind of alpha texture planes you'd like added next to it. And I'll see you in the next video.